All right. Again, we have a few people coming in. Um, so please find yourselves a seat. There are some seats available on that side. Make sure you don't have to stand because otherwise this final session is going to blow you away and that would give a mess. So <laughs> find yourself a seat. Make sure that you're uh, ready. Okay, let me click this and then switch. I told you I need my notes, otherwise I get nervous. So, um, and we have plenty of time, so I can talk a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> I see some people coming in. If you're standing over there, please find yourselves a seat, unless you're a photographer, because in that case, you probably need to roam around. All right. So, are you ready for the final presentation in track four of WordCamp Asia 2024? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, come on. A little bit of enthusiasm. Are you ready for the final presentation in track four of WordCamp Asia 2024? That's more like <laughs> it. That's the energy we're looking for on a Saturday afternoon. All right, so the next speaker is joining us from Cairo, Egypt. She's a senior marketing manager at GoDaddy, and this is her first time speaking on a WordCamp stage. Um, our speaker speaks three and a half languages. I'm not entirely sure how Translate Live works with half languages, but <laughs> we'll figure that out. Um, but she's been a meetup organizer for the WordPress meetup for Arabic speakers for a while now. And today, she's sharing her story and helping us start a meetup. So please, put your hands together for Nada. Hello. How many of you have attended a meetup, a WordPress meetup in the past six months? Okay. How many of you have organized one in the past six months? Let's applaud them, please. It's hard. I do speak three and a half languages, and I've lived in four cities around the world. And this has pushed me to get out of my way and out of my comfort zone to meet new people, start communities, and to be able to make friends. And although I've been using WordPress for five years, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I attended my first ever WordCamp in March 2023 in Bangkok. And this was my um, entry point into the WordCamp or the meetup uh, communities of WordPress. I haven't had an idea before that day that um, how amazing that community is. And since I'm an Arabic speaker, and there are more than 300 million Arabic speakers around the world, I went online and I googled the meetups and uh, WordPress-related content in Arabic, and I found that there's a huge gap where there is very, very little content online uh, of WordPress in Arabic. So what did I do? I uh, started reaching out to the existing organizers, and I realized that ever since COVID, most of them had either stopped or have just taken a step back and decided that they will not be doing any more meetups. Um, they got busy with their lives. So I said, you know what? I'm going to start one. I think, I think it's worth it. And that's what I did. And ever since then, we have had four online meetups and one hybrid meetup where we had the live recording, but also a few people have attended offline. And we have had a growing community of over 100 members across the world. But you might be asking yourself, how can I start my own meetup? You don't need to have like an official WordPress meetup to call it a meetup. Any um, any uh, get-together of WordPress enthusiasts is a meetup. But if you are interested in um, creating an official one, here's what you have to do. First thing is check if there's an active WordPress meetup. You can reach out the organizer and ask them if you can co-organize with them or um, you want to volunteer or help them around. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. If you can't find one or if they're inactive anymore, uh, you can fill out the meetup interest uh, form. It's in uh, central.wordcamps.org. Or 
if you already organize a meetup that is not official and you want to move it to the chapter program, you can still do that through the, uh, also the central.workcamps.org. Now, what are the benefits that you get when you join that program, the chapter program? All the videos and the recordings are going to be uh, streamlined on the wordpress.tv. You also get WordPress swag for the attendees. You get the support to cover costs like rental, which can be sometimes costly. And in general, you get a lot of support that you need. Now, now that you have your meetup set up, you filled out the forms, you have everything ready. Uh, that's the hardest part, the pre-meetup planning. I want to say I start um, planning for the meetup maybe three or four weeks ahead. And the first and personally the hardest part is finding qualified speakers who want to dedicate their time to speak. Um, sometimes they would ghost you <laughs> or uh, sometimes they would just decline politely. But if you find a qualified speaker, you start talking with them and have an open conversation. Ask them like the topics that they would like to talk about, that they're comfortable with, but also think about it from an attendee perspective. If you were an attendee, would you want to attend this meetup or not? And based on that, you get to agree on a topic. And then um, coordinating a time, date, venue can also be a daunting experience because is it a weekday, is it a weekend, is it a morning session, is it an evening session? Uh, are people going to come, are people not going to come? So this is also a big part of the pre-planning phase. And then um, once you have all the details lined up, now you start working on um, the creation of the event page, the description, creating some marketing materials, uh, posting everywhere and anywhere. Sometimes I even get my friends and family to post about it, like tell everyone please. Um, and then maybe a few days before the meetup itself, I have a chat with the speaker, make sure that their content is uh, like the, the content is uh, well, written, well written, the journey is sm smooth and seamless, and that they're comfortable with the meetup itself. And then during and post the event, interaction and communication is super important. So I make sure that I record the session and then post it uh, or do a live stream sometimes, um, and then send a post survey uh, after the post meetup survey uh, to get um, some to gather feedback from the audience. So ask them, are they happy with the topic? Are they happy with the speaker? Would they want to come back and listen to the same speaker? Are they interested in more beginner topics or more intermediate or more professional topics? One of the mistakes that I did was that I started with very tech savvy um, uh, topics and I realized that this is not what people want to hear like people want to know the basics the basics of the basics things that you might think are very very easy they might not know and then finally sending a thank you note to the speaker and keeping a, a communication or a relationship with them is also very important so that at any other time when you need them to come back and speak you can always do that now that we talked about how to set up a meetup, how to plan pre the meetup, how to uh, engage with the audience during the meetup and after the meetup, uh, we asked some uh, of you on X Twitter here, what are the highs and lows? What are the challenges uh, that you might face? But also what are the good parts about being a meetup organizer or an attendee? And here are some answers. Is anyone, he anyone here from the, the answers? Hi, Taco. So most of the answers that we got on the highs were people who were happy that someone showed up and participated. Um, people who came on from, world, like from across the world. And this was something that I also experienced because most of my meetups are online. So I'm so happy to see that people from all across the world uh, show up to the meetup. And then also the connections that you make. Um, I know that someone wrote that he found a job through some of the, uh, the people that he met in a meetup. Meeting amazing people and uh, Taco had a great meetup with over 100 attendees and a great presentation. Wow. But 
it's not all rainbows and butterflies. There are also some challenges that come with setting your meetup. What are those challenges? One, a lot of the times members don't want to help with organizing a meetup. Also, finding stable venues can be a little bit hard. Um, also, finding speakers and new topics, and this is one thing that I really struggled with, uh, finding speakers. I think you struggle with finding new topics when you have had the same meetup for a very, very long time. You feel like you've gone through everything and there's nothing new to talk about. But also, after post-COVID, um, everyone is just, they want to be on Zoom and there's no face-to-face -face engagement anymore. Um, and that's something that a lot of people talked about. People RSVP and don't show up, tell me about it. Low participation, even in the most lucrative uh, meetups, is also something that people um, suffer from. So um, I want to wrap this up and, and, and say that if you're one of the attendees here today and um, have never been to a meetup, go online, look up a meetup in your uh, region, in your city, in your town, and try to attend or if there are online meetups, uh, RSVP and attend. If you don't think that the topics are interesting, feel free to reach out to the organizers and talk with them. Maybe you can even be a speaker. Um, and if you're an Arabic speaker or you know of an Arabic speaker, please tell them to join my meetup. <laughs> And then um, we've already launched the 2024 meetups and we have a series coming up of five very, very basic um, um, WordPress topics. And hopefully within the next two to five years, we'll be able to organize the WordCamp. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Before you leave the stage, there's, there's a little present from the organizers again, so I have to do my little dance. <laughs> Here we go, up, okay? And as well for you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your presentation. Thanks. And I hope we had some Arabic speakers in the room today. Um, so before you all leave, I've, I've been an MC before, and there's one thing that I always do. So please don't leave, because every single time, my mom doesn't believe I'm on a stage. So what we have to do is do a selfie, Make it look fun. All right, thank you very much. She's gonna appreciate that. All right, we have a little break. Then at 3.30, there's a Q&A with a guy named Matt Malawak. You may have heard of him. Uh, he has some interesting things to say if you ask the interesting questions, so make sure you go there. And then at seven tonight, we have the after party. It's spring themed, so come in your spring outfit and do not forget your badge. Let's have fun in these last few hours of WordCamp Asia 2024, and I hope to see you all again next year in a city. Don't know where.